Welcome back to PowerBoltOne.com. We're to the point now where we're ready to put our PTO on and then get ready for putting our drive shaft on. There's a couple of things we want to go over first. You've got two different PTO sizes. We've got a 1310 and we've got a 1350. This one is for a flex plate style where it's got the little register cut in the back. This one's for a flywheel style where it'll fit in the back of the flywheel. The bolt pattern differences between the two, a 1310 is two inch by two and three eighths on the bolt pattern. 1350 is two and three eighths by two and seven eighths. This one has a dished flex plate on it. There's also what's called a long crank and it runs a flat flex plate on it or, or flywheel. If you're running this dish style, you'll run this shorter standard bolt. If you have a flat one with a long crank, you have to go to this longer bolt, which is an option for both of them. And here's kind of the difference in the drive shafts. 1310 here, a little smaller. 1350, considerably larger. This is for way more horsepower than we're gonna need. So we're gonna be running just a 1310 on this application. Now that we've gone over the differences between a 1310 and a 1350, continue to take these bolts out of the back of the flex plate. Now that we've got the bolts out, we're gonna take, we'll take the PTO and it's just gonna go over the crank's not like that. Something you wanna check when you're putting it on is you can see where this little alignment pin hole is here in the back of the crank. The same thing's on the PTO. And you really wanna line that back up because that's gonna make sure the bolt pattern's correct in case there's any kind of offset. And that's really with, it, with any engine you're doing this with. So when you set that back up in place, it's always good to use a little bit of Loctite on the bolts when you put them in. Just take and you just kind of thread them all in a little bit to get them started. And run them down in there. Because you don't want to cross thread any of these bolts. That's never good. And then I'll usually just take the little ratchet and make sure that they're that they're started good. Okay, now that we've got them started, we'll just take and buzz them in here easy with this. Running kind of in a little crisscross pattern. You should come back and torque these to the manufacturer's specific torque for that. But for this, we're just going to leave it as it is for now. The dry shaft assembly will actually would sit right in there. It has a register also that sits into this register. So you'd center that up. Make sure that your bolt pattern is aligned. And then these bolts would just affix right into the PTO like such. And there'll be four of these that will go in place. So you get all four of those put in and you get those tightened down. Then after you get all four of these in place and you get it tight and it's up on the back of the PTO mount, that's when you'd come in and put on bell housing, motor plates, you know, however it is you're gonna fix the engine into the stringers themselves. So that's gonna be our next step. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.